bra, a prized undergarment used to support and shape breasts. How exactly did the bra we know and love today come to be? At the turn of the century, the Western world was emerging out of the Victorian era, where women were expected to be the complementary feminine opposites of men. During this time, there was also a movement towards less damaging corsets. Underbust corsets provided more flexibility but left breasts unsupported. As a result, patents began to emerge for bust bodices. It is not clear who exactly invented and popularized the brassiere. One example is Mary Phelps Jacob, who patented a softer and more comfortable brassiere constructed of two handkerchiefs and numerous ribbons in 1914. After World War I, progressive thinking depolarized gender roles. The desired look for women of the 1920s was a slim, boyish figure. Women used products such as bus confiners laced over corsets and seamless bandeaus to deliberately flatten their breasts. In the 1930s, America fell into the Great Depression and gender roles repolarized. Sleek, natural looking curves came back into fashion, and it was all right to have two naturally separated breasts. The short term bra came into use, cup sizing was introduced, and better elastics were invented. As the country entered into the Second World War, the government began rationing and restricting the use of certain materials. As a result, plainer undergarments were produced. The severity of wartime also gave way to a more extreme division between gender roles. The 1950s continued to embrace the look of curvaceous women with prominently defined breasts. The most popular bra style of the 50s was the bullet bra. Falsies were also introduced as extra padding to aid women who were less endowed. The 1960s marked a social revolution in which both men and women cast aside the previous generation's notions of masculine and feminine. This decade prized a more natural look. Cup shapes developed out of the pointed cone in favor of a softer, rounded shape that is still used today. By the 70s onward, health and fitness became the popular mode for figure control, and a thinner look became popular with the younger generation. In 1977, Hinda Miller and Lisa Lindahl invented the jog bra by connecting two jock straps. This paved the way for the development of more sophisticated sports bras. By the 1980s, women became very body conscious, using physical fitness to tone their bodies. Lingerie became a sign of feminine luxury under the fashionable yet masculine suits women wore at the time. Elegant and embellished lingerie continued to explode in the 1990s. During her Blonde Ambition tour, Madonna shocked the world by wearing her iconic cone bra. This reflected the continued traction of the innerwear as outerwear trend. As you can see, many factors in the US over the century have played a part in shaping what we know and think about the bra today. Whether you love them or hate them, you have to admit, bras have come a long way since their rudimentary predecessors.